Hi friends, this is Nirma Patel from Aksha Education and today friends, I do have an amazing maths problem for you. When I came across this question, I felt like, oh wow, this is so cool. So I do have a question guys, this is definitely amazing. But it is also a bit dangerous, guys. Huh? So don't underestimate this question, guys. It's not that simple to solve. So let's try to understand what is the question, guys. Yeah. So I do have four different boxes, guys. Yeah. You can put down any number in these boxes, guys. You can put down any number. One, two, five, whatever you want to put it. Yes. But the condition is this box number plus this box number should be eight. This box number minus this box number must be 6. Condition number 3. This box number plus this box number should be 13. And this box number plus this box number should be 8, guys. So there are four different conditions needs to be satisfied. Can you get this answer, guys? We are going to try different like uh, numbers as well and things. But, ah... Uh, what can I put down? Let's start with something, guys, and let's see how does it go. So you can have a bit more understanding about the question. Let's say, what do you want to put down here? You can just start with any number. What did you say? Or did you say five? All right, let me put down five. Let's see in case if it works, yeah? So five. All right, five plus what makes eight? Three. Ah, oh, that's simple. My one condition is satisfied, guys. Five plus three is eight. Cool, it's working. Then 3 plus what makes 8? 3 plus 5 makes 8. Oh, my second condition is also good, guys. Yeah. Now my third is 5 plus what makes 13? 5 plus 8 makes 13. Guys, my third condition is also satisfied. Mm, fourth one. 8 minus 5. Mm-hmm. That is not 6, guys. So that is not going to work. So that's not fine, yeah? So that did not get solved, guys. So mm -hmm. I got to try something else. What do, you, what do you recommend, guys? Should I try... Let me try 7, guys, in, in case if it works, yeah? So let's see if I try 7 here. Then 7 plus what makes 8? 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Oh, yes. My first part is done. 7 plus what makes 13? 7 plus 6 makes 13. Second part is done as well, yeah? And then 1 plus what makes 8? 1 plus 7. Third part is done as well. Ah, again the fourth part, guys. Can you see? 6 minus 7 is not 6, guys. I'm fed up, guys. Can you solve this? If you can really solve this, put down the answer in the comment, guys. And if you cannot solve that, watch the entire video, guys. We are going to solve this impossible looking question, guys. Now, friends, we are going to solve this impossible looking question, guys. Huh? Are you excited? Here we go, guys. All right. So, guys, the thing is, we do have these four boxes to solve. So we are not going to start with like any random number and do it. We will do it like more mathematically, guys. I do have like two numbers to find out, which I don't know. So I'm going to put on one later for each number, guys. So I'm going to say like, okay, this is represented by X because I don't know. I don't know. So I can tell that like it's X and we'll try to figure out what is the value of X later. Yeah. And let's say this is Y. Because I don't know that number either. And this number I'm going to put down any later, let's say P. And this one I'm going to put down Q. Alright? So what is the first thing I'm doing? All these four numbers I don't know. So I am going to take the letters instead. X, Y, P, Q. I'm also going to tell you guys why am I taking letters. So that I can make different equations, guys. So every condition is going to give me one equation. Like my x plus y should be 8. I'm going to write down every equation here, yeah? So my x plus y equal to 8. Is it not making sense, yeah? So what can be the second one? Second can be x plus p equal to... What is that, guys? It's going to be 13, yes? So x 
plus p equal to 13. My next one is, or there is a plus here as well. So y plus q equal to 8. So I can write down that y plus q equal to 8. And the last one is p minus q equal to 6, guys. So p minus q equal to 6. What is the first thing we did? All the numbers which we don't know, we represented them by a letter x, y, p, and q. And then from all these four conditions, I have made four equations. Now, guys, maths has a rule. If you've got a one unknown, you need one equation to solve that. Two unknowns, two equations. I do have four unknowns. Unknowns, that means the values I don't know about. So x, y, p, and q. I do have four unknowns. That's why I need four equations to solve that. But I do have four equations. So that is solvable, guys. Now, there can be multiple ways, guys, you can handle that. It's not like, oh, it's the only thing you want to do it. So I'm going to say like, this is equation number one. This is equation number two, three, and four. Now, what am I going to do, guys, is I'm going to plus, guys, equation number two, three, and four. Everything. Two plus three plus four. So what is my two left-hand side? X plus P plus three Y plus Q plus four P minus Q. And that is equal to, can you see? So left hand side, I plus this plus this plus this. And on the right hand side, guys, I'm going to plus this as well. 13 plus eight plus six. So that I'll put down here, 13 plus eight plus six. Guys, this is not the only way, huh? Once you have derived the four equation, you can have multiple ways to solve them, guys. But when we are doing this, what is the beautiful thing, guys, is plus Q and minus Q. You can cancel out like five minus five is zero. So plus Q and minus Q is cancel out. So I'm left with X plus P plus Y plus P. So I can write down X plus Y x plus y and p plus p is going to be 2p because they are the like terms yeah i can add like p plus p is it 2p is it good guys so q and minus q is cancelled also x plus y i have written here and p plus p is going to be 2p now here 13 plus 8 21 21 plus 6 is going to be 27 so this is what i got it but look at the equation number one guys in equation number one, I do know my x plus y is 8. My x plus y is 8. So I can replace my x plus y with 8. So I'm going to put down my x plus y equal to 8. So 8 plus 2p equal to 27. So now I can get my p, guys. So plus 8 going other side is going to be minus 8. So 2p equal to 27 minus 8 to p is going to be equal to 27 minus 8 which is going to be 19 and my p value is going to be 19 divided by 2 so my p value is going to be 9.5 guys i did find out one thing guys my p value is 9.5 that is what i found guys all right now once I know that, guys, I can try to work out other things as well from this equation or directly from there as well. So let us say I know the P value. So now I can put down this P value in, let us say, this equation number two. So I can get my X value as well. Now X plus P equal to 13. What is my P? 9.5. So x plus 9.5 equal to 13. Guys, just in next two minutes, we are going to get all our answers, guys. Yeah, it's getting excited. So x equal to 13 minus 9.5. So my x value equal to 3.5. I got my second answer as well. Now I'm going to get my y. And for that, I can use my very first equation. x plus y equal to 8. 
So I'll do like x plus y equal to 8. My x value is 3.5. So 3.5 plus y equal to 8. So my y equal to 8 minus 3.5. So my y equal to 4.5. I did find out the third value as well. Now the last one guys, which is q. For that I can use either like third or fourth. I'm going to use the third one guys, yeah? So let us say like a y plus q equal to 8. What is my y value? I figured out that here, that's 4.5. So 4.5 plus q equal to 8 so your q equal to 8 minus 4.5 so your q value equal to 3.5 now i do have guys my p value q value x value and y value everything guys so i'm so excited i'm going to check is it really working or not so i'll just take this off guys yeah this p i don't want x i don't want Q I don't want guys and Y I don't want because I do have those values. So what is my X value? My X value is 3.5. So I can put down 3.5 right here. What is my Y value? 4.5. I can put down here. What is my P value? That is 9.5. That is here. And what is my Q? 3.5 which is going to be here guys and now let us check is it working or not working 3.5 plus 4.5 if you add them it's 8 my condition number one ticked guys now 3.5 plus 9.5 so 3 plus 9 12 and then half half that is 1 13 condition number two is also satisfied 4.5 plus 3.5 which is 8 Third condition also satisfied, guys. And 9.5 minus 3.5, which is 6. My fourth condition also satisfied. So in this way, guys, can you see the amazing, impossible looking question we solved? But this is just the power of maths, guys. Not only this question, but any such puzzle or question you can solve by making equation and solving them. I hope, guys, you enjoyed this video please give us a like guys you know if you really enjoyed this put down the comment how did you like the videos subscribe to the channel guys for more entertaining videos like this yeah now see you in the next video bye